Hello all, welcome back to Answer Rating Initiative at 9 p.m. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Offices of Ace Academy. If you are watching this Answer Rating Initiative for the first time, then please watch my first video in the Answer Rating playlist to know how to participate in this program. It is open to all. In the last video, I gave a question regarding the cropping pattern. How has the agricultural cropping pattern in India changed over time? Enumerate major factors responsible for this change. 50 marker question, so we have to give adequate uh, wordings. So you can uh, start explaining with what is cropping pattern. Cropping pattern refers to the proportion of area under different crops at a particular point of time. Proportion of area under different crops at a particular point of time. When I say change in cropping pattern, that means change in the proportion of area. Okay. See, for example, I am having uh, 5 acres of land in which in 3 acres I am growing millets. In one acre, I am growing pulses. In one acre, I am growing rice. So, three acres millets, one acre pulse, one acre rice, five acres. Now, assume this is now getting changed into four acres of rice and one acre of pulses. This is a change in cropping pattern. Okay. So, this cropping pattern, this cropping pattern is getting changed because of various reasons. But before understanding or explaining the various factors responsible for changing the cropping pattern, uh, let us have some idea about uh, how the cropping pattern has changed, how it was earlier, how it is now. So if you take India, traditionally that is before independence, traditionally if you see, uh, we were uh, largely growing pulses, millets, oil seeds. But however, if you look at today's cropping pattern, it is dominated by four crops that is paddy, soya, sugarcane, cotton. We see a lot of change in cropping pattern from food crops towards cash crops, from less water guzzling crops to more water intensive crops. If you take Punjab for example, Punjab for example, uh, in 1950s, if you take almost 60 percentage of the Punjab area was growing crops other than wheat. 40 percent wheat, 60 percent was crops other than wheat. But now, in the 2000s, you will notice down that only 17 percentage of the crops grown in Punjab is other than wheat. Majority wheat is what is growing on. So we see a change in the cropping pattern in different parts of the country. What is the reason? What are the factors contributing? What are the factors responsible for this change in cropping pattern? What are the factors? See number one we can say uh, green revolution. Green revolution was, uh, was providing us high yielding variety seeds to ensure nation's food security. We adopted high yielding variety seeds. Broadly, it is the total is referred as a green revolution. So this was one reason for change in the cropping pattern. Minimum support price, government's policy intervention. When MSP is announced for certain crops at a higher price, then people try to choose that MSP crop. Then that changes the cropping pattern. Right? Uh, better uh, storage facilities. Today, we are able to store food grains for a longer time. So that better storage facilities that is helping us to choose different crops right than what we are growing in traditional uh, traditionally right uh, water availability water availability see irrigation don't think uh, um, uh, when I say water availability it's about uh, uh, the uh, uh, river source or rain waters I'm talking about uh, irrigation better irrigation expansion of irrigation constructions of dams, expansion of irrigation, that is resulting in change in cropping pattern. Right. Similarly, after uh, liberalization, market opened up. So international market is opened up. So international market demand is also making us to change the cropping pattern. So the international market demand, domestic and international market demand. See, dietary pattern is also getting changed. Traditionally, rice and wheat were, particularly rice if you take, it was, it was a festival food. Right, be it Italy or be it dosa, it was um, prepared during the time of festivals. Usually, we will be grow, mean, we will be consuming millets, other coarse grains. 
but however dietary pattern got changed right so another thing we can talk about the demand created by the food processing industries food processing industries they are creating demand for see all you take uh, biscuits cakes everything is prepared from maida what by product of wheat so they the food processing industries they create demand for a certain items that is affecting the cropping pattern now all these cropping pattern that is actually uh, taking us to an unsustainable direction this change in cropping pattern is actually skewed we are seeing mono cropping certain crops are grown in large quantities in larger areas which is putting more stress on the soil soil fertility is getting affected ground water is being extracted water stress is being increased uh, in sharing the river water there is dispute which is rising between the states right so this change in cropping pattern is creating new 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 problems though opportunities were used with this changing cropping pattern but this has created a lot of issues like soil fertility is getting affected production productivity is getting affected water consumption is being increased groundwater level is depleting because of more water need the river water sharing becomes challenging creates interstate river water dispute so all these has to be addressed agriculture has to be sustainable for sustainable agricultural practice we need a proper cropping pattern and that proper cropping pattern can be arrived only through a multi stakeholder approach government farmer civil society everybody should come understand the reality and come up with a proper cropping pattern or else agriculture will not be sustainable that's all i have given a relatively lengthy uh, content you can trim according to the demand of the question i have given a model uh, answer as well right you can go through this model answer so the best answers i will attach in the comment section okay in the comment section i will pin the best answer for this question so question for uh, today millets are considered as superfoods with an array of benefits to people the environment and farmers what are the main constraints in expanding the millet cultivation in india ten marker okay easy question understand the demand and give the answer i hope this uh, initiative is adding more value to preparation i will see you tomorrow till then bye take care